Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CBP Nuts video series on bit manipulation interview question series and this is a video about power set or if someone asks you like find all the sequence, I mean the subsequence of given string. So let's suppose if your string is like A, B and C and I want you to come up with the possible subsequences then the, that is going to be like A, B, C, a b because this is also a subsequence b and c and then a and c you'll just skip this b a and c and then lastly a b and c so see we have like one two three four five six and seven so seven possibilities are there let me tell you if it is just two like a and b how many possible combinations are there like a b and a and b right so here you see only three are there so actually there is a very good method to come up with these strings using bit manipulation and you already see the pattern right bit meaning two correct you either have zero or one and if you have true string length meaning your length is two then two to the power two minus one is the answer i mean the number of strings you are going to get correct and if you have string with three length then sorry two to the power three minus one is this length correct so two to the power three eight eight minus one seven so we have seven different subsequence so this is sorted you know like how many strings would be there if you have n number of strings so the formula goes like this two to the power n minus one so you will have these many strings or the subsequence now let's look at another very important point which will help you to come up with these substrings so if i just write like different combinations and yeah considering i have only two strings so for two places what are the different combinations for this one and zero so this is like zero one one zero and one and one so now you notice this if you have two so two to the power four combinations will be there if you have like three uh, set bits then you will have 2 to the power 3 which will be like and 1 so see we have like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so we have 2 to the power 3 meaning 8 different combinations if you have 3 places to place either 0 or 1 now notice this actually if you can just simply place this a b c here so here due to this 0 0 0 nothing will come so there won't be any string that's why this minus 1 is there okay and then for this you will have only one character because there is only one set bit so which is C and another one is B another one is B and C and then A then A and C and then A and B and in the end a B and C so see if you count like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so you have these 7 not in this order but you can sort them and make any order out of it so that's not the problem so the point is see you have mapped these 0 and 1 basically what you are doing like you are checking whether it exists or doesn't exist so if you have a B and C so if you want to make any string what you would say you will either consider this a or you won't consider okay so and then second time you will either consider b or you won't consider either you will consider c or you won't consider so that 0 or 1 is actually doing the same thing sometime it is considering that and another time it is not considering that so what are the different combinations of considering and non considering is this only if you have only three characters in your string that's it you just have to find like how many times you will consider them and how will how many time you will not consider any particular character and that you can get with this now let's code and see how to achieve this so we have this standard question that's what I explained like if you have ABC then this is asking what are the possible subsequence possible for ABC or any given string so this is like what we are looking for right so this is the code for that what I already explained you first of all you will take how many different combinations will be there meaning what is the length of this so 
that length depends on like what is the length of the string then only you will do 2 to the power that number and you will get the length right so different combinations right so yeah that's the whole thing you have this length 2 to the power that strings length will actually give you what are the different combinations available i'm doing 1 to i minus length it's not equal to length i mean not equal to and it is like 1 to i less than length keep in mind that it is not less than equal to it's just less than because we have to have this minus one also right so instead of doing less than equal to length and minus one there what i did i just kept less than i sorry greater than i and then see we have like one two it's not i less than equal to length okay otherwise it is not doing minus one so now this is like if your string is having length three if you consider this example then it's just looping for seven times okay because this is going to be seven i mean at eight it will break so let's go inside this now here is the magic let me increase the font i'm not sure how good it is yeah this looks okay right okay so basically what you are doing from one to that particular length so if we consider this example then we'll go for seven times right so initially we are not starting with this zero because this is not considered this is like empty set or empty which we will not consider okay so we'll start from here that's why i'm keeping this i is equal to one until this i is not zero so basically what you will do you will initialize this i with x and you will check that x so this i has gone into x so x is like zero zero one and then see what we are doing we are saying that if x ampersand one meaning this bit is set then i have to consider this guy right so see that's what we are doing we are saying that if x this first bit is set i'll go inside this i'll take that particular locations character and place that into a smaller string so i have to construct that string okay because see if there are two set bit i have to construct this b and c right so basically i have to take like let's suppose this game or let's suppose this is the number which is two sorry three then i have to take b and c into the consideration right how would i do that so if it is like zero double one first i will check is this present so what is the corresponding character i'll just take that into the consideration and and then in next loop what i'll do see i have this x is equal to x right shift so this guy will be right shifted so we'll have zero zero one and we'll check again is this position see we are always checking the first position here see so we'll check is this position still one then we know how many times we did right shift so the first time we came here then we took the zeroth position so zeroth position is this guy and actually it is like reverse in program i'm taking the zeroth value because j has to be from zero to further and here it is like little reverse okay so don't get confused it's just that whatever is the set bit you just want to take the corresponding character and then you'll do the right shift and increment the count so that you know that this one was actually here so if you did right shift and you still find that there is one existing here meaning it was originally here so you know that i should take the middle one so which is b so initially you took c because of this and now you will take b because of this so it's like c and b but it is looking like c and b but the whole idea is see when you consider this you can see that if you can directly map a b and c this is mapped to this this is mapped to this and c is mapped to this uh, wait a minute a b and c and then zero double one this is what we are doing right and we want to say like i have b and c but this is not directly mapping okay that's what i want to tell you will check this from here but map it from here so this one is actually mapped to this one this is mapped to this one and this zero is mapped to this one so the result of this is a and b exactly not c and d or b and c why because that's how we have written the code here we are always starting from zero and see 
in this loop will construct one substring and once it is constructed will push that string into a vector and this demand that it should be a sorted see we have this a a b a b c a c b b c and c so this should be sorted that's why i have sorted this before returning okay these things are like extra stuff we just want this logic to be understood i know in the beginning little bit tedious to understand but it is very simple you know that you just have to take all the combinations what are set here that's it okay and how would you do that this is the logic simply assign whatever the number you have like from 1 to 7 right so 1 will go here x is initially 1 and we'll just keep setting this is the tricky logic but it is not that hard also right you just keep incrementing j and check exactly what set bit you are at okay if this is true and then just take that particular character and add into your substring and in the end just push back into the vector and have this x is equal to x right shift by one so that you can count how many set bits are there and with this particular logic you will know at what positions they were set okay so with this i think we are clear right so thanks for watching guys bye bye take care i'll see you in the next videos